Hello, I'm Sister Catherine. I'm a Franciscan sister, third order regular, of penance, of the Sorrowful Mother, a long name for a small community. God has been so good to us, and we just want to thank each one of you for the ways in which you have blessed our community, and a particular way during this year where we're honoring the Lord and thanking Him for the gift of Father Mercy Chapel. I'm here today to share about the gift of this chapel and also our Mother of Sorrows and the gift that she is to us. And I just hope by sharing a little bit of my story and a little bit of our story that you might be touched by knowing God's love in a more uh, deep and profound way. The sisters recently asked me, can you share with us how being with Mary at the foot of the cross um, came to you and how um, how that has developed in our community. So, when I was a student at Franciscan University, and as I went to prayer, I just kept sensing myself being with Mary at the foot of the cross. And I had this um, desire as I gazed upon Christ crucified, and I was uh, next to our mother, I just had this desire to truly love the way Christ loved, to lay down my life um, so that others would know that they are loved. And that just kept deepening within me. And from there came my religious call. And with that, um, the call for a new community, but that's a story in and of itself. And let's just stay focused with um, Mary um, at the foot of the cross and what she means to me and what she means to our community. That has developed over time. When I first sensed um, the call, it was more of a sense of loving with God's compassion. But what happened over time, and as I lived more fully our Franciscan life, and I also had the great blessing and privilege to study Franciscan spirituality at St. Bonaventure University, that enabled me to have words and a more spiritual theology for what was in my heart. And key was being able to see that Mary at the foot of the cross, as she gazes upon Christ crucified, it's not only the love of Christ, but it's the love of the whole Trinity. And I was able just to recognize that it really stems from the Father of mercy. God the Father is the font of love, and that God is love, and God is good. And with God the Father so completely loving the Son, that that love is what spirates the Holy Spirit. And the love between the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is so beautiful and so abundant that creation overflows from the love of the Trinity. And God created us in His image and His likeness. And so we are created good and we're created out of His love to love. And so what I was able to grasp is that this is who we are. We are made out of God's love. We're made to be loved. Yet, we sinned. Adam and Eve sinned. And there was a separation of that fullness of love that God the Father has wanted and desired for us. And so, that's why he sent us his only begotten son. And this um, depiction of our chapel just conveys so beautifully with God the Father's hands being poured out, that he's pouring out his grace and his love, the Holy Spirit, upon Jesus. So when we gaze upon Jesus crucified, we know that it is also from the abundance of God the Father's love and his mercy. And so that's why we have called our chapel Father of Mercy Chapel. And we see the love of Jesus and even though we have symbolically the hands of God the Father, we can't actually see God the Father. And that's why it's so important that Jesus gave us his mother at the foot of the cross when he said, John, behold your mother, mother, behold your son. And how beautiful it is that we have a mother. And Mary at the foot of the cross is really an icon of the Father of mercy. Because we can't see God the Father, but we can see the mother. And we can see the mother's heart. We can see how much it meant for our Blessed Mother, for, for Mary to give her son 
for love of us. And that is how we can just begin to capture God the Father's love. And as we, in each Eucharist, we are with Mary at the foot of the cross. The Catechism so beautifully expresses how we are with her offering and being offered with Jesus. And so each time that we're at the Eucharist, if we can recapture this image that we have of Mary at the foot of the cross and remember that we're there with her and even how she's depicted with one hand being reached out to Jesus and the other hand being opened up, we can nestle right next to her because she's our mother and she wants us to be close to her, especially at the Eucharist. And so I just want to encourage each one of us that as we go to Mass, that we would remember to be with Mary at the foot of the cross and that we would offer ourselves uh, with Mary and that we would remember that Mass, which means to be sent, that we would bring Jesus, his mercy, his grace, uh, to the people we meet, to our spouses, to our children, to our sisters and brothers, our co-workers, that we would really receive Jesus and be like Mary, who's a channel of grace, um, being able to receive his love and mercy and to be able to give that to others. So as we celebrate today, Our Lady of Sorrows, may each of us recognize that we have a mother who wants to, us to nestle next to her at the foot of the cross and to become a channel of grace and mercy for others. So thank you again for your goodness and thank you for the ways that you are bringing Christ into the world. May God bless your day.